Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Bernie, filmed live at my First Bank studio, brought to you by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. How you doing today? As the Cardinals and the Pirates and the Reds rush to a frantic finish in the NL Central, all three teams are showing good mental toughness. The Pirates were run out of St. Louis last weekend, losing three straight and badly. But instead of melting down, the Pirates responded by winning all three games at Texas, beating a good Rangers team. Heck of a statement by the Bucks. After losing two in a row to the Cubs, go figure, the Reds rebounded yesterday to win and went 7-3 on their homestand. As for the Cardinals, there's really a lot to like and respect in recent days, and I'll get into that in a few seconds, but I always give you a friendly reminder to save you some money. When the Cardinals win a game, you receive 40% off the regular menu price items the next day at PapaJohns.com. Just enter the promo code CARDSWIN. Papa John's always donates 10% of your order sale price to the Siteman Cancer Center. All right, let's get back to the NL Central talk here. The Cardinals are looking tough again. They're answering all challenges. Let's review. One, they came home and have clicked off five consecutive wins after losing five of seven in Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. Two, the Cardinals have scored an average of seven runs per game since Alan Craig went down with a sprained foot. Three, after an ugly stretch, the Cardinals starting pitchers have allowed only two earned runs over the last five starts. Four, the Cardinals beat Milwaukee Wednesday without their catcher and leader Yadier Molina, who was by his mother's side as she underwent surgery. The Cardinals are looking like a team that has been through this before. Manager Mike Matheny called a team meeting last Friday and challenged his players to push harder than ever, and they responded. Before Wednesday's game, veteran starting pitchers Adam Wainwright and Chris Carpenter gathered all the young pitchers, all the young Cardinals pitchers, and gave them valuable advice on how to prepare for pitching in the pressure of a tight race. See, the Pirates and the Reds aren't going away. In fact, the Pirates are going home for an 11-game homestand. But Cardinals fans can take some comfort in knowing that this team has strong leadership. After wavering, and let's be honest, looking very weak on the road, and after losing one of their best hitters, the Cardinals are responding like champions. That's all from the First Bank Studio today. Thanks to Papa John's. See you tomorrow here on stltoday.com.